to this point, we've talked about several different kinds of operators you can do to make your searches efficient and focused. So we've talked about file type, site, double quote, and or. Now I'm going to tell you one more. Now this operator, the in-text operator, is one I don't use a lot, but when I need it, I really, really need it. And I bet the same is true for you too. In this lesson, what I want to give you the idea of is how to use this and then how to use the advanced tool interface, that is the advanced search user interface. I'll show you that too. So let's take a look. The in-text operator is just like site colon. You say in-text colon and then whatever term or phrase you need to find on the text of the page. Here's an example. Site colon stand for .edu, site restriction. The quoted phrase, coral bleaching, and then you see here at the very end, in-text, followed by the term geophysics. So what I'm looking for are pages on site stanford.edu with the phrase coral bleaching that also have the term geophysics. Now, why do you need this? Don't all those terms always appear on the web page? The answer is no, they don't. Sometimes you'll do a search, for example, term one, term two, term three. And then when you go to look at the page, you won't be able to find, say, term three. That's because the pages rank really highly just on term one and term two. In that case, it will drop or you won't have available on that page term three. So the in-text operator forces the inclusion of that term on the page. For instance, here's a bit of text that's on a page, but it also has the term geophysics on it. So you can see here what it's doing is requiring that that term be on the search result. You see what I'm saying? Let me show this to you live. Site colon Stanford edu coral bleaching. And then I want to say in text geophysics. Now that's going to be the search I want to run. Okay? Let me show run that for you. Okay? We have about 164 results. And as you can see by the results, there's result number one on stanford.edu with the word geophysics. So the snippet here is showing you that that word appears in that most relevant piece of text on the page. Now look at the second result. Here, it doesn't show up in the snippet because this piece of text is the most relevant summary of the page. It doesn't happen to contain the word geophysics, but trust me, it's on that page. This brings up an interesting point. Sometimes you'll do an in-text operator like this, and the search result won't actually be on the page. Well, truth is, it is. Sometimes, though, you have to look through multiple pages or you have to look at a different tab. So be aware of that because it may not be immediately apparent when you do this operation, but it's really in there, trust me. Let me show you why you want to do this. If we remove this in-text operator, that is, just do the search like this, site Stanford EDU coral bleaching, you can see we have about 2,300 results. Now let me add back in in-text geophysics and now we have 164 results. So we've really reduced the space. We've done 2,000 to only 164 or so. Now, one important other thing I want to point out is the advanced search user interface. How do you get to the advanced search user interface? There are two ways. The easiest one is by using the gear icon. Now, notice this in the upper right corner of your page, right around here. When you do a search, you'll see that appear. But it's a little tricky because it doesn't appear on the home page. Here's a live example. So here we are. I'm going to start to type. Now you see there's no gear icon up here. Okay? Now it only appears after you start searching. So let me start my search site, colon, stanford.edu, and I'll say coral bleaching, like that. Okay? I run my search, and now the gear icon appears. Watch. I'm going to click on the gear icon, click, and I have a lot of options including, for example, how to change the setting on your search behavior, number of results you get, and so on. The languages you can support, um, turning on safe search, but this is the one we care about, advanced search. I'm going to click on that, click, and now you can see this is the advanced search user interface. This has all of the techniques we've been showing you, all in one handy user interface. So here we've got site, colon, file type, double quote, and so on you can see what it's done is automatically populated the search interface with the double quoted phrase here, coral bleaching. See what that says? This exact word or phrase. That's the same 
as double quote. We scroll down a little bit farther and you'll see narrow your results by uh, site or domain, stanford.edu. So all of the things we've been talking about are available here. So if you can't remember what the name of the operator is, come here to the advanced search page and you'll be able to find it. Notice that there are a lot of things on here, and we'll cover these in the advanced class, but you can filter by where the term appears, anywhere on the page, just in the title, just in the text, and so on. You can, for example, search for our friend file type and look for different kinds of files. You can even filter by usage right. This is Creative Commons licensing. Now, there's one other trick about the advanced search interface I want to show you. If you're here and you don't want to just do your query and then click on the gear icon to go to it, you can always do Google Advanced Search. And it's always the first result. Click there, and there you go. You've jumped right into it. If you want, you can bookmark that or do whatever you like. So now you're ready to do the activity for this lesson using in-text and so on. And then once you've completed that, you can take the midterm course assessment. That is something that will look at all the skills you've been learning up to this point. Go ahead and try these activities and see how you do. I hope you do a great job.